Hey everyone, welcome to the Shop It Help videos. Today, we're going to take a look at adding stock locations and sales channels. Every e-commerce business begins with a product, with some stock. So the first thing you need to do in Shop It is set up your first stock location. Here in this example, we're just going for warehouse number one. As you can see, the warehouse is enabled. We're going to give it a quick description to say which website it's going to relate to. Pop in an address and some other details so that we can progress forward. In ShopIt, we recommend that each sales channel, whether it's a website, whether it's your Amazon, or your eBay, is related to one particular stock location. So here we're going to set up the first website. We're going to call it the Hat Shop. We're going to say that it takes stock from Warehouse One. That where that Warehouse One could be the left of your garage or the back bedroom in the house or some other such location. We continue to put in a little bit of information about that particular sales channel and obviously ensuring that it is enabled and soon we'll be able to upload the products. Here we've chosen some website, like I say you can choose other types of sales channels whether it's a feed from the marketplace, whether it's an EPOS device, and much more. Pop in your website URL, obviously this can be changed at a later date by all means. Pop in your email and account details, your phone numbers, etc. It's always best to get this started at the beginning, just to familiarise yourself with the process. As you will see later on as well, each stock location can have smaller locations within it. We call these bin locations. So in a normal warehouse, you'll have aisle A, B, C, and D. You'll then have a location within those, one, two, three, four, five. And you'll know that the table and chairs or the white shirts can be found at location A12 or B17, etc. It's up to you to define this whole process. If you are shipping your goods out of um, your own garage or out of a warehouse, just label it accordingly, as long as it's a reference point for you to actually know where the goods are for future picking. As you can see, we've popped all the addresses in, just filling out any possible empty field. You can also create channel aliases, which are to do with the marketplaces, but we'll come to those later. And there you have it. 